Hi, it's a beautiful morning here by the Atlantic Ocean, and I'm walking along the beach of America's oldest city, St. Augustine, Florida. This stretch of sand is only a small portion of what is known as the First Coast, not only signifying the oldest permanent European settlement, St. Augustine, that lies within its boundaries, but also the first coast of Florida that a voyager would encounter while traveling along the eastern seaboard of the United States. So, what better place to start my coast-to-coast -coast adventure than right here where Ponce de Leon first set foot in America and began his travels of discovery. Many of you may remember Charles Corralt and his critically acclaimed CBS travel program, On the Road. He is the inspiration for this series. He once observed that thanks to the interstate highway system, it's now possible to travel from coast to coast without seeing anything. And I believe that true words have never been spoken because there's so much of America to see that's off the beaten path. So, with that in mind, it is our aim to show you some of America's best kept secrets, little known attractions, and historic landmarks that make this country a treasure for discovery. Also, along the way, we will be passing some of America's more familiar sites as well. Now, incidentally, this is my first time for traveling the U.S. from coast to coast, and I'm looking forward to exploring all the sites for the first time right along with many of you. Now keep in mind, the route I'm taking is not the only way to see this great country, but it is our hope that this series will inspire you to get out that map and discover your own roads less traveled. It took me 46 days to cross the U.S. from coast to coast. And wow, what a trip it was. For my first time crossing this country, I saw some really outstanding and awe-inspiring places. I met some truly fantastic and very friendly people. Charles Corot was right when he said, the kindness of the back roads more than makes up for the acts agreed in the headlines. I highly recommend everyone see America this way. It was a journey that I will never forget. But it wouldn't have been possible without the cooperation and support of all those who provided us with accommodations, meals, and transportation during this trek. I want to personally thank you for a very memorable experience. I'd also like to thank all of you for joining me. It's been a real pleasure having you along for the ride. And I'm sure that if you explore America this way for yourself, you will discover, as I did, that after navigating the U.S., you can't return home and not be profoundly affected by the beauty of our great country and the diversity and the friendliness of its people. So the next time you plan a trip, consider getting behind the wheel and heading off the beaten path. I'm J.C. Shipp, and I'll see you out there on Roads Less Travel.